All right, quick video, guys. Uh, that last video where I did the build with the uh, headways there is doing very well, but it's getting a lot of questions. And one of the big questions is, if you can put two of those batteries, build two of those batteries, and then use them as a 24 volt. And of course, my answer is usually yes, but because I like to test everything, right? Uh, I hate when people just uh, talk without knowing what they're talking about. Then I'm gonna test it here. Here's a 12 volt battery, right? 4S, this is uh, 24. And then this one has its own BMS. This is a uh, this is a smaller version of it. This is the 100 amp version, but it's the same type, it's the same brand, and it's basically the same design. It's just a little bit smaller. Connect it in series. Here's the positive, negative, right? And then here is in series. That one goes the negative of this battery goes to the positive of this battery. Same thing here. Another battery with the zombie NS, and then the negative of that goes here so then you combine the positive and then the negative and then here we go you get 26 volts right and then from there it goes into this little 24 volt in inverter so 12 watt to 200 watts so i'm just gonna run a small small load here let's turn it on here right there we go we saw a little bit of load let's uh turn this fan on okay Oh, that fan is going. So there we go. This is a small load, you know, almost three amps there. Uh, 75 watts, that's what that one does. And there you go, it's running off of the BMSs here. Now let's lower it so the sound gets a little bit better. I hate it when it's got that sound. So let's do a quick test to see if these bmss are actually working remember if this is just a switch right it's got a bunch of mosfets in there and if it detects over current right over you know the 100 watt continuous i think this one's probably like 300 watt bursts so if it detects more than a few seconds of that kind of power then it turns off the mosfets and then it disconnects the battery if the voltage the overall voltage of this battery goes too high or too low disconnects the MOSFETs. If it goes out of balance, if one of these batteries goes too low, right, but without the other one, so the total voltage here is not too low, but only one, that's what these little cables are for, then it also sends a signal to disconnect the switch there. And so we can actually uh, replicate that by just disconnecting this, right? So if you disconnect this, that means like it, the actual circuitry you won't see it'll show all of these at zero and then it should disconnect right so let's see um disconnect yep so there it goes it just disconnected so that means these bms's are working uh the one thing that you have to keep in mind oh no it connected the the other times is like they wouldn't come on once you trigger it it won't just come back on you have to like disconnect the battery and then connect it back on and then and then it'll it'll kick back on so it's like you have to remove the load or whatever to start it but here let's see on this type of thing it did oh no what's going on here okay let's see here ah Come on. Okay, here we go. Oh, so actually now, oh yeah, 12 volts. So this is 12 volts, why is it not starting here? Oh, 12 volts, yeah, no, see it hasn't started. There you go. So you have to remove the load, it's supposed to be 24 volts. <laughs> so that means this one was off, this one was on, that's why we were only seeing 12 volts at the end, right? But when both are, uh, pushing 12 volts, then it becomes 24. So now disconnected it, connected it back on there. I did the little spark. Then you have to click this one. There it is, 26 volts. There we go. And now we can start our load again. There we go. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you're doing these. 
uh, once you set an event on the actual BMS, you have to remove the load, which I guess it can be kind of annoying if you're using this as a 12 volt battery in your car or in some system. Like if you don't have a switch that actually removes the load, if it's hardwired. So you have to keep that in mind. When you design a system using these batteries, uh, you know, you have to keep that in mind. Now, uh, so this works as 24, two of these cells in series, they'll work. Of course, you can parallel this and they will work. I don't know if this will change once you keep going. If you put four of these, can you do 48? Uh, I'd say yes. Uh, but of course, you know, without having the right equipment, the right stuff here to do it myself, I guess take what I say with a grain of salt and actually test it yourself. But I don't see a problem. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. I think this electronics here are powered from within the cells, right? So the individual cells. So the fact that there's 24 volts going through the main switch here, it's not going to affect this, right? If the electronics here were being powered by the main circuit here, then having more voltage going through it, it would it would make a difference. But it didn't seem to be the case, right? And so at the very least they work like this at 24. Then yeah, you try for 36 or 48 and then and then we should if anybody out there does build these and tries them and they do work on a 48 or 36 volt system do post it in these comments here so that the rest of us then can you know do it or whatever they can we can decide if we want to build our system this way all right this is just a quick video showing you that you can use these dali uh lipo 4 4s 12 volt bmss in series right and at least in our little setup here it does work at 24 volts so it's confirmed you guys can put these in series uh, and in parallel, if you need more than 200 amps uh, from the other project that we're doing, or if you if you buy these ones and you need more than 100 amp continuous, this is, by the way, the continuous uh, ratings, and I tested them, and this, these do put out that kind of voltage, uh, that continuous output. So, so the, these ratings are not fake as many Chinese products are. This seems to be kind of a, you know, decent... Uh, brand of BMSs that you can use. And of course they make these in different versions. These are just the LiPo 4 that I ordered to experiment and kind of get into the lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, all right, thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, of course, remember to leave, leave a thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Just come on, you're watching all my videos already. So just subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one, bye.